Hey everybody, it's your lovely ravishing beauty Miss J. So today I'm gonna answer all your aunt's agony questions that you have sent me in your DMs, okay? So this will be a very exciting episode, I guess. And if you guys don't know, I'm actually on Instagram. I just want to know burning questions that you guys have and I'm gonna answer them and you guys will be released from your pain. So I will just censor the names of these people to make sure that it's anonymous so that you guys don't need to worry that you'll be found out, okay? For if you have very weird or pervertic stuff. So these days, I've been feeling so depressed and f***ed up. Please help me as a teenager, how can I be so energetic? Okay, I mean like, you guys are like so young. I mean, I'm almost like 3 or 4 hundred times your age. I can be so energetic and you guys are not energetic. How can you not be energetic, okay? What you guys need to do, find something, find a goal, find a dream, chase it, okay? You guys, don't waste your time. There's so many things you can do and when you're old and your bones are breaking and cracking, you have no time to do all these things anymore. I don't know what to ask, what's your favourite drink? My favourite drink is men's secretion. I mean tears. How can you be this pretty? Prettiest aunt ever. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Huh? But I'm not an aunt, okay? I'm just like, you know, just calling me an aunt agony doesn't mean that I'm very old. I don't know if I can ask, but I'm really curious how old are you? Um... Younger than you'll ever be. Damn, you're pretty. Guess you got the right jeans. Yes, my jean size is 32. Is it necessary to be very good at dancing for becoming a trainee? Mm, I guess you need to be either good at singing, dancing or rap. Either one of them. How to be confident. Guys and girls, how to be confident, right? Honestly, you just don't need to care about what other people think about you, okay? Whatever you're gonna do, just do it and then if you care about what other people think of you, you will not be confident because you are worried whether this is good or this is bad to them. If you think you're good, own it, okay? Flaunt it, okay? You don't need to care, okay? Just do whatever makes you comfortable and then that's how to be confident. Why I can't sing? My friend said I sound like a dying cat. Hmm, I guess you just need more practice, okay? So just need to what? warm up your vocals, try and practice more. When I was younger, I sound like a dying cat. See, I cannot even speak properly. I sound like a dying cat too. So all you need to do is just practice, okay? And um, vocal warm-ups, I think this will like help you so much. I want to create my own path, a new way for my parents that are forcing to stay on traditional way, okay? I totally understand you, okay? Parents, they're very traditional. They grew up in an age where there's no computers, there's no internet, and even their cell phones are probably like pages or whatnot. Now we can actually view like a movie on a phone screen, okay? So this is so much for them to take. And you actually wanting to live alive you know in the media or the social media or actually becoming an idol whatsoever is very new to them okay this is not possible back in their days so you must understand that it's not possible for them to do it my advice is to just do it secretly while you are studying or whatsoever okay so to make sure that you actually have an education and not just you know like you're a nonsensical person trying to like live off the streets okay so we still need to survive okay if you can do it part-time and if that's give you enough money eventually do it full-time so this is my advice to you what's your boyfriend's name sandwich When you want to do something but you hesitated, does it mean you are not serious about wanting it? Um, I would say that it's not about you are not serious about wanting it. Maybe that's not the best time to do it. Or you had different priorities or you're just f***ing lazy, okay? So what you need to do is actually think about it, like whether this is something that you want to do. If someone actually achieves it, are you going to be jealous of it because you didn't do it? Are you going to regret for that moment because I didn't apply, I wasn't hardworking enough, I didn't train, how I wish I started earlier, then if that is the thing that you're just lazy work your ass off losers okay work hard and then try to do as many things as you want when you are young because when you're older you need to pay for rent you need to pay for phone bills you need to pay for your crippling anxiety and whatsoever so please okay just do all these kind of dreams chasing while you're younger so this gives you a better chance because you are young and dangerous I'm scared that if I become an idol, everyone will judge me by my looks because I don't fit Korean beauty standards. It's looking like Korean important. I would say, um, eh, I guess if you want to be in the K-pop industry, if you look like a Korean, that would be a plus. But at the same time, not looking like a Korean could be a plus as well. You look slightly different. But looking different gives you different kind of perks and disadvantages as well. Looking different people recognizes you. But also looking different people will might bash you as well, okay? So this is the same theory in life. Do 
doing something different in life doesn't mean that everyone will actually resonate with you so I just feel that if you want to be an idol you just don't need to care about how other people think of you if your company thinks that you can be an idol you can be an idol so find a company that trusts you rather than caring about how other people think about you okay so um in your crash opa who the hell is Ooh. opa you are the most helpful person I've ever seen. Um, in JRP, FAQ, you told them about paying for flights. I don't know if I have a passport or visa. Okay, so for visa, right, I guess if they want to see you, they'll pay for your visa. But your passport is your own belonging. So no one's gonna pay for your passport except for yourself. So go and pay for your own passport. Okay, this is something that you can do at the age of like what? I don't know, 14, 15, 16? No idea. You just need to pay, let's say, 50 to 70 USD or so, and then you can get a passport. We got Uni and Opa and one person. Oh. That's more than you can ever imagine. Oh, she an official account now? Yes, gotta follow. Mm -hmm. I am really overweight. I want to lose weight so that I can sing and dance comfortably because right now I can't take high notes properly and I start to breathe heavy so fast. Can you please suggest me some dieting tips? It would mean a lot. Thank you, brother. Who the hell's brother? So the thing is right, um, if you want to diet, I guess you need to do it comfortably, do it something that's something that's within your reach, okay? I am doing something called intermittent fasting, so I actually try to only eat like during a selected period of time, so I only eat around like 8 hours a day or maybe 6 hours a day, the rest of the time I'm not eating. You can do it like 1 meal a day or 2 meals a day, so like an example is you can eat like let's say 12pm and 6pm and other than that you are not going to eat anything, so this might help you you can try this method or alternatively you just need to exercise more if you are still eating fried chicken in front of the television you're not gonna lose weight right so you really need to exercise a lot more and if you do that I'm pretty sure you'll lose weight I'm keen on becoming K-pop trainee but my family opposes it they say it's about the skin showing and then they want a stable job blah 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 I guess, okay, at the end of the day, I know that the family has the best interest of you. They are just afraid that you might be scammed, you might be cheated, and you might, I don't know, lose your V and whatsoever. I guess you are still young. When you're old enough, you know what to decide and how to decide. But maybe as of now, focus on your studies. But at the same time, sideline, okay, just practice to become an idol whatsoever. In case there's a chance that you might become one next time, when the chance comes, you're ready. I keep repeating this, I'm born without talent, singing and dancing, I only know how to draw but I really want to be a K-pop idol. Then my body, I'm not sexy because I don't have shape. I'm a girl, okay? I'm flat, chested. Some people say I'm beautiful, so that's the only thing I have. So the thing about your body size, right? I mean, every body size is beautiful. It's just that if you want to be in a K-pop industry, of course, there are certain standards, you know? Um, some people like, you know, like big breasts, some people like small chest, so like, there's room for everybody, okay? So don't worry, I just feel that you need to work on your confidence okay when I was young I was ugly as shit okay mind you and when I grew up I became like this shameless bitch so don't worry okay you will get through this if this is your dream you'll continue working hard towards it I'm Asian half Singaporean and half Indian oh hello fellow Singaporean well they accept my beauty I have big eyes double eyelids button nose I'm overweight I feel like Jihyo okay so the thing about this if you guys think that you are overweight and you want to do something about it go and do something about it okay I mean you know yourself best if you think that you are not in the best shape, so please do something about it. Don't wait till other people tell you. When that happens, it's a bit too late. And especially when you have auditions, right? Um, of course, do prepare. And I mean, this is a bit unhealthy, but if I do have auditions, I'll definitely go on a very strict diet to maintain my weight and I will definitely do that. So in terms of like ethnicity and all, I can't really comment because I'm not the person that is hiring you. I don't even know whether you are talented or not. I personally feel if you're talented enough, every Everyone might stop and want to look at you again. I think that is the biggest, like, you no know, reward. Okay, regardless whether your skin color is right or whatsoever, why don't you prove to them that you are so talented that they have to sign you? Okay, I cannot comment whether they will like want an Indian or other race or like, a, you know, European or whatsoever. Because sometimes we have no idea what kind of concept that they want, and they can actually change concept from time to time. Okay, I mean, look at Black Swan. I mean, we have never expected someone of like a African decadency, you know. So it is kind of 
different and sometimes you know they like to shock the world with a different concept there are different different kinds of K-pop group that might emerge next time don't just beat yourself down because the current norm they're all Korean Korean looking fair skin I have no idea music is always evolving you have no idea how it's gonna evolve to next time so I would say do your best and just don't like you know um, be discouraged okay so what will happen will happen that's all I have for you guys today I hope I answered your questions and I'm your aunt agony so if you guys like this video do give me a like also do comment down below what was your favorite moment for today and if you guys want a part two of aunt agony as miss j's aunt agony do let me know okay i am this like awesome bitch and i hope you guys enjoyed my attitude today um remember to follow my instagram miss j sns and also remember to join johnston's culture family by subscribing to him on the notification bell so you know when his or my video will be uploaded so i hope you see you guys next time bye